And I believe these purple ones are actually generated um, by the fact that, uh, yeah, back to the golden vault for our last one, um, they're actually generated by the relics that we did. The hamburger being the one that actually gets this to show. Uh, Cooking Cat, I believe, gave it to us, and that's when this one unlocked. Alright, so the goal is to head to a beach. Which one of them looks like they have the beach at the end of it? I'm gonna say this one. Even though there's no real... Awkward. I kinda just missed. But we're already down here, so... And looks like I picked right, because there's the beach. Um, well, I'm a little surprised that I got it as quick as I did. Let's head to what is, I guess, the last of the time rifts for this um, area. Oh, come on. I'm hoping, well, I guess I'm kind of hoping kind of not that some of the later time rifts, uh, notably in... Um, Okay, so seriously. Oh! It just got me stuck there. It's like, okay, you can't actually get out of there? Fine, and it kicked me over. Which means if you ever get stuck, it does have a kick out mechanism that will help us. So, welcome to the Time Rift Mafia of Cooks. Not labeled the beach, interestingly. And we can look around a bit. This is going to be the one that's probably the biggest of the three rifts, and if I'm splitting any of them, it would be that one. But, a few things we can collect here, one of which is those picture frames. Um, and nothing else at this point, so let's talk to this guy and continue on. Hello little child. This is Mafia Time Rift. Time Peace hit Mafia in head. And now time rift filled with mafia thoughts and dreams. That's pretty cool. I wasn't aware mafia had too many thoughts, but I um, mean that's this cool that you got it. Time rift is simple, simple like mafia, just how mafia like it. Rules so what is time it? Rift. If you die, you start over. You need rift pawns to go deeper. That is all the rule. All right. So rift pawns. That was the other collectible. He doesn't mention the picture because this is supposed to be pretty hidden. So you can see Rift Pawns are these guys right here. They're Golden Pawns. Um, they're also, you can see by the thing there, there was a big three on it. Meaning, we need three Rift Pawns to actually go through. Because if we go right now, no good. However, that means we can use it as a stepping stool to get to this third one. Just by going near it, it uses our three pawns and opens it up. However, they gave us one extra pawn, so we're going to grab that one just to, hopefully so we don't need to grab another leader. And we got our thing, we looked pretty much everywhere. Oh yes, there are still regular pawns. Though the only thing really left is the mumble and the one hit match. Looks like enemies can hold the pawns as well. So, you knock out that enemy, and you can get the pawn. Unfortunately, not all enemies hold pawns, just the ones with them on its back. From here, we can head bounce off this meat. Oh, the meat isn't bouncy anymore. Interesting. The difficult thing is, sometimes there will be more than one of these, um, pictures uh, in, the, in the area, and I want to be careful because I don't know if it's this one or the next one that does have that. Uh, because there, it was this one. I'm like, I know there is one in the Mafia Town area that's meant to teach you about it. And like last time, there is some extra pawns, should you need them. One of which is sitting right up here. So we now have two extras, and we can drop through, bringing us to the third one, which we take a look. Has little girl noticed that unspent rift pawns are kept each floor? 
and that's why we've been picking up the extra. So this one's usually a really easy floor because you can just jump straight to it. Also, it looks like there's a nice pile of gems in that. And the shaft is nice and happy to be standing here. However, you can see it right there. We need that uh, picture before we can continue further. And if you recognize this ship, it is actually the one that is sitting currently in Mafia Town. Just without the crates on it. So we'll drop. We've got our new picture. We've got two points. And let's check what's left. Five. You need five for this next area. So grab this guy. And after grabbing this one, we're already clear to go to the next area, so clearly the benefits of us picking up the pawns extra have already shown. We're clearly in a very good oh, situation for it. There, I wanted to get that one back there. Get this guy. And we already have seven out of the five we need. Um, the reason why I wanted to know for sure about that is because I don't think there's a picture in this area. Uh, I've only seen it once, so I'm not 100% certain. I knew there was a double and I knew there was a zero. This one seems to be the zero. We're going to actually head and leave right now. Um, there is nothing else really too interesting, but it looks like they found Mafia Town. So continuing on with still our two pawns, what do we need to leave this final area? Oh, the Mafia are throwing cans at us. Interesting. Which apparently means they die in one hit. I guess this is to symbolize them taking over Mafia Town or something like that. So we collect our pawn. And that is the time that the door is now available. However, we're missing something right now. There is for sure one of those pictures in this area, and I believe it is just under this bridge. And that's six out of six. Let's hop up and escape now that we have enough space to. And all that's left is the time raft. Gives us a little bit of pawns. And can't leave this circle. It's a bit sad for the time, but really. It explodes and leaves us with. Well, the timepiece. Thing that caused the rift. Collect the rest of the pawns. 777, it looks like it's gonna be a lucky time rift. Uh, we are gonna be restarting in between the, this part and the next, just so that we can get the lighting engine potentially back working. But, we got our six pieces. Mafia's Grand Voyage. I wish I could have looked at that a little longer. We're gonna reroll. I guess we're gonna take it. I wanted to actually look at the Mafia thing there. I don't know why I decided, oh, you clicked once? Let's push all the way to the end. I'm gonna see if there's any way to actually see that from this world. Um. I don't see it listed anywhere. Yeah, we're still five yards short there. Don't, I don't see it anywhere. So in the next part, we'll start with that full mafia thing that we just closed out, and the lighting engine restarted. See you guys then.